hi everyone and it's saturday welcome to my home welcome to my channel welcome to my fourth vlog which i call coffee tea wine and life because that just seems to suit me doesn't it so anyway today well i'm not having any of those today i'm having diet cream soda i don't even have any captain's morgans in there and sometimes i i love cream soda it's my favorite and i love the walnut walnut walmart there's no nut in Walmart, Nancy. Walmart. My Walmart diet cream soda. My favorite soda in the whole world. I love it. So anyway, it's just Saturday. Um, I intended to go to work today, but but I didn't. I went out. I did some weed whacking um, out front. I trimmed my hedges. I couldn't reach the back, so the back of it's kind of scraggly looking. Maybe somebody will feel sorry for me that's taller than me. I will cut, cut down the rest of it. And... Um, yeah, I didn't do any more decorating today, but I did move some wheelchairs around. I've got uh, wheelchairs in my dining room because, well, who doesn't have more than one wheelchair in the dining room? Hello. So anyway, I moved it on to the other side, so I got both on the same side of the room. Uh, I did have them on either side of my home chest, but um, so anyway, I moved one, and then I moved my wine cooler over because, yeah, Nancy needs a wine cooler. So I moved that over a little bit. And I'm hoping maybe tomorrow to bring up my baker's old rack from downstairs. It's a nice corner baker's rack. And I'm hoping that it fits in that corner because I would love to use that again. Uh, it was my coffee station downstairs. But whether I use it for a coffee station up here or not, well, I don't know. I just like the looks of it. And, and it's a horizontal surface so that, you know, who doesn't need more horizontal surfaces to put stuff? But anyway, so Saturday and I got delivery from FedEx today. I got the October warmer of the month from Sensi. And oh my gosh, this this warmer just looks so, so pretty on their website. I cannot wait to unbox that for you. Hoping to maybe fit that in tomorrow. So hoping, hoping, hoping. It came, and I also got the uh, scent of the month. I got three bars because I had that little whip sample, the uh, sample cup in my September whip box and it smells so wonderful. But I forgot it was coming today. When I woke up today, I changed out my warmers on the other side of the room to the cozy cardigan, which really smells nice and warm and cozy. And then um, I still have racks in here from like last year, and it, it's still the fragrance is still there. So it's I got the uh, fall scents here. So I've got like pumpkin and clove and apple and cinnamon, and the scents just kind of all seem to blend together really nice. And it just smells so warm and cozy. It's like the essence of fall in here. I just love it. And um, I'm trying to think. So anyway, I think that's about it. Oh, the top that I'm wearing is uh, from Thread Tank. All I need is coffee and wine, and it seems to fit in with me. And I just love it. And I keep see, getting some emails from them to, uh, and I keep meaning to check out, maybe go check out and see what I can find for like a fall one or Halloween one. And I've had this since last year, and I, I can't even tell you how many times I've washed it and worn it, but. It still looks brand new. I mean, it's not faded. It's not stretched at all. The V is still nice and like a V. I just love that. It's just such great quality. And of course, I'm wearing Touchstone Crystal by Swarovski. Got to have some bling, even on, on home. And uh, these earrings that I'm wearing are uh, from Home Shopping Network. So they got these black stones that are kind of, yeah, stones I can, can call them, that are wired on. And then uh, Blessed is engraved on the side and then a little crystal hanging and I just love to wear them it's a nice reminder of how blessed I am and how lucky I am in my life and I am consider myself blessed for my family my friends and you um, and I hope to never take anything for granted and uh, anyway so I just want everyone to go out and have a fantastic day have a fantastic week and we will chat again tomorrow everyone have a great night bye bye Hi everyone and welcome to Sunday. I'm gonna grab my coffee. I just love a good cup of coffee, so hmm. So anyway, I love having a cup of coffee or a drink or a cocktail or something and just chatting with you. It's really the highlight of my day. So anyway, just a, another gorgeous, gorgeous day here in the beautiful state of Minnesota. I think we were probably high 60s today. But just felt so nice it was a little breezy so i just was able to open the front door and then the uh, deck door on the other side of the room over there and just have like this cross breeze going through and it was so so nice so i probably finished decorating for my table i think i've made the last trip i'm down, down the stairs with some decorations i still have two big boxes downstairs but 
most of them are ones that I put outside and then I had some others that I always put like right um, you know in front of the table so I had everything illuminated down here so it just made it really nice and fun when the kids came to the door but seeing how I'm not going to be doing Halloween I'm pretty sure I'm not going to do Halloween this year you know I just uh, I just kept it simple yeah nice little backdrop and uh, yeah so I can sit here in my Halloween costume like everybody else does and yeah just uh, chat with you but and actually the reason I'm in my costume is because I'm going to be doing my Scentsy unboxing next and I'm so excited to do that the warmer of the month just looks so pretty this month and then plus I've got two um, other little mini warmers that are Halloween themed so I want to share those with you so I'm going to be doing that so I wanted to be in my Halloween costume just kind of make it fun plus it's not every day you get to dress up I mean you can but they would come and take me away yeah they would but um, yeah so I had that uh, sale today at the Ever Eve store in Maple Grove uh, for the birthday bash or whatever and it was like 15% off store wide and I could still add my COVID 10% off pass and I had like a $35 rewards card here but in the end I decided um, it was just a little too risky to go and um, you know sometimes you, you have to go out because you have to go to work and you have to pick up groceries that you can't get delivered or you know things like that but to go to a, a store because it's a personal choice and I wanted to do something for me just um, I just thought that was just too risky I mean I'm in you know I'm old and so I'd be in that age category that it could hit me and I'd be worried that I might give it to the kids next door and you know they're five they're in kindergarten but they've had so many health issues in their life with their lungs not really developing all the way and I don't think I could live with myself if you know I gave something to them and for them it, it could be fatal so to go to a store for fun you know it's just not a risk I was willing to do so there'll be other sales there'll be other stores plenty of time for good times like that to come and anyway so I br actually brought up one of my favorite Halloween decorations that I absolutely love this and it's about 35 years old I think 30 35 years old and I used to love to tease Lady Penelope or Brittany Spaniel with this because well she was cute she was little and who doesn't love to tease their fur babies so anyway I would put her her treats in this bowl every year and first time every year she would just kind of go back in and forget it and of course when she did the hand would grab her like this and she would up oh, and it would grab her and she would bark and she'd be so mad but she still wanted her treat and she'd go back and forth a few times and then finally she would just push the bowl over and get her treats out and she was happy as could be so she probably did that every year for like five or six years it was so much fun love teasing her but anyway so I think that's about it I am going to have a few more sips of coffee and get my boxes um get my scentsy warmers out to get some of them out of the box the big one I'm going to save and do that so that you can see my first impression and I want to thank everyone for joining me I hope everyone had a fantastic week weekend and we will chat again tomorrow night everyone bye bye hi everyone happy Monday cheers if everyone has their drink in hand whether it's a glass of water a cup of coffee tea or whatever mm. I really enjoy my coffee what can I say but anyway, welcome. So um, I hope everyone had a great weekend and a great start to your work week. Oh, such a beautiful day today. I mean, it started off kind of rainy and kind of crappy, but then the sun came out and just um, the ride home was just so beautiful. It was like the sky was this perfect shade of blue with the leaves just driving home. It was, you know, I even went back roads coming home from work today so that I could kind of enjoy the scenery a little bit longer and just oh it's, I just love this time of year it's just so pretty but anyway I think I've got a busy week coming up with some videos that I got coming in so I've got my Ipsy uh, that should be here sometime this week I think BoxyCharm is shipped too my Stitch Fix shipped yeah like Ross and Rachel we were on a break yeah after the short 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 incident yeah I was yeah I was a little kind of taken back by that because I, I you know well I'm, I'm not going to get into it but yeah I should not be wearing things like that and for the good of the public health and mental health of everybody that watches me they should have not had to have seen that so yeah we took a break but um it actually shipped today so uh, i want to peek but i'm gonna i'm gonna be good well i'm thinking i'm gonna be good i i could cave at any second and go just uh check it out but i'm gonna try to be good and 
go into it with an open mind and see what kind of uh, items they got for me. So I'm looking forward to that. And um, yeah, I took some, I made some videos last night that I have not last week that I haven't got a chance to upload yet. So I'm, maybe I'll try to do like one a day or one every other day just to try to get them moving. And so I'm excited about that. And oh, I'm so excited that I got the warmer of the month for Sensi. Um, filmed and uploaded yesterday. Oh my gosh. And it's this one here. It is just so beautiful. Of course, I'm not going to turn it on. Well, I can turn it on, but I mean, it's so far away. It's just going to blind you. But oh my gosh, it's just so, so pretty. Um, yeah, I'm going to love this. Decorating with it. And uh, the scent of the month is just so beautiful. When I came home today, I actually changed out the wax bars from the ones here that were two years old to the uh, new scent of the month, the Walmart Raisin. Not Walmart. Walnut. You know, the other day when I was trying to say Walmart, I kept saying Walnut, and now I want to say Walnut, and now it comes out Walmart. Don't ask me why. But Walnut Raisin Muffin. So, so good. If you get Scentsy and um, you're thinking of trying a new fragrance this fall, I think you owe it to yourself to try a bar, especially the month of October where you can get it at 10% off. Oh my gosh, it is so nice. I love this one. I got three with my uh, warmer of the month, so I think I am going to have to uh, get some more, but I know where I can get them, so I'm good for that. And oh, So anyway, just um, wanted to stop in quick, say hi to everyone. I hope you go out have a fantastic day tomorrow, and we will chat again tomorrow night. Bye-bye, everyone. Hi everyone, welcome to Tuesday. So I have got uh, my coffee. I've got sea salt caramel today. So, so good. Of course, I had a little bit of whipped cream in it, but I've already had a few. But you know what? I was really good. Usually I would have put some caramel topping on top of it. I didn't tonight. I saved myself about 10 calories. Yeah, I'm proud of myself. I'm doing good. So anyway, I hope everyone had a great day. So it's even better when I got home today because I have my boxy charm that came in today so I'm looking forward to opening that that's going to be my third box I got some stickers in from chick blossom prints which is another small Etsy shop and this is really my second order with her if this focuses yeah, so another small Etsy shop so focus so anyway she's got some really really beautiful kits so I got two kits and I'll just show you the top page of each so this one's like a Thanksgiving kit. There's always something to be thankful for. Just some nice foiling, some nice fall thanksgiving -y things. And then this one's fall with some pumpkins. But, you know, it's a different kind of format with pinks and blues and some purples and the fall. The foiling just so, so pretty. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, playing with these kits. And then my next thing I want to talk about is... I, um, you know, I recently got into getting some handmade soaps and I got the Scentsy, uh, soap, um, sub box subscription that I'd been looking forward to doing for so long, but I ordered these, uh, two little bath, uh, lift strummer. So, because I only had like one little wooden one that you would put the, the soaps on that I got from Bubbles and Books maybe last year. So I needed, now that I got a Scentsy soap open and a Hooties soap open, I wanted, uh, to keep them on these little lifts but um anyway so comparing the two right now my favorite right now is the hoodies yeah of course this one's lavender so it's got really really nice fragrance love this of course i love this one too i love the scent of it this one was the one that smelled like um zambuca and of course i don't think i have to tell you zambuca yeah i love zambuca um but that's about as far as it goes they both suds up really, really nice, nice and foamy soap. Um, this this one, and we'll see if it focuses, but maybe there's some seeds or something that's in here, but it's exfoliating focus at the same time. So, which is kind of like a good thing to exfoliate. But when I use the hoodie soap, when I come out of the shower, my skin feels clean, it feels soft, it feels moisturized and fresh and just, yeah, I love that feeling. When I use this one, it feels like it's stripping away 
all my natural oils. And you know how, like when you clean a window and you know that it's really clean because you hear it go squeak, squeak, squeak? That's what this one does. So you, it's cleansing, but I just feel like it's just stripping everything off. And it's like when I went to see my mom in Arizona, because when I left, um, you know, New England, I came to Minnesota and she, yeah, she moved to Arizona. What the heck was up? What, what the heck was she thinking? But I think the first time I went to visit her, it was like 115. And as soon as you went outside, you could just kind of just feel yourself drying up. It was, yeah, it was not a good feeling. But that's what this feels like. I just feel like it's just, it's just really drying my skin. And it might be because it's exfoliating, or maybe it's just the blend isn't right. But I don't even think I'm going to finish this. I think I am probably going to throw this one out. And um, yeah, so I also wanted to talk about because uh, sometime last year, Janine Haldi from Janine Haldi. She's got an awesome, awesome channel. I hope you check her out if you haven't. But uh, she had got this a wild kit from the Happy Planner because she's a Happy Planner girl and I've been using Erin Condren things. But anyway, she got this kit and I, I had to get it. And if you remember, I'm going to say her name really soft because she's right here next to me. I had to uh, ask Alexa to remind me at a certain time every night to check this site. I can't believe it. She's quiet. To uh, send me a reminder to check for it to come back in stock and it did so anyway I, I never got to do an unboxing but it is such a fun kit so anyway I love this so this one isn't the happy planner it's more like a notebook type thing but there was all kinds of stickers and all kinds of things in that kit just really really fun and eventually I might change over to the happy planner because it's got these rings instead of the binder and so you can take the pages out so that it can you can have them away from the book and just have it lay flat and do what you want and then put it back in. But my idea, and I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do with this, and I still don't know exactly because I need some help figuring out how to do this. But I wanted to kind of keep a little video diary of the videos that I've done, like the date that I've done it. Um, if I purchased anything that I did specifically to do that video, um, if it was like the clothing kits, what did I keep from it and like time and things like that. But I don't know what else to put in a video diary book. So if anyone else is doing that, I would really appreciate what your thoughts. But anyway, so I came up with the template because, yeah, I'm a nerd. Uh, but anyway, so like say for this one, and I only did two just to kind of check it out. So I would have like my thumbnail. If I purchased something for the for the video, what did I buy? Like for Sensi, whether it was uh, the warmer or anything like that, and any notes that I liked about the video, how long it was, and then I was trying to well, what do you keep track of? So I thought maybe if I did the dates, what my ranking was, what the views are when I when I did this, how many comments, how many likes, how many dislikes, and then I could maybe go back a couple of months later and then add to it to say. Is anybody still watching this video? Is it still getting clicks? Is it still getting likes? Or is, you know, did I miss a comment here and there? So I did that one. And then I did this one that I did with uh, Kristen, Moments of Sanctuary, a little collab that we did back in May. Can't believe that was May. That was our spring box that almost turned into a summer box. And of course I didn't fill it in. I wanted to go back in and uh, write in what I bought and things like that but just my thoughts on doing that and yeah so if anyone keeps a, a diary or something like that what do you think is like something important that you would want to keep track of and um, yeah I'm going way over my, my limit again tonight so I'm going to close it here and I just want to thank everyone for joining me and we'll chat again tomorrow night bye bye hi everyone happy Friday Eve Actually, it's Thursday night, so I'm really excited to be here with you. This class, it's one of my favorite classes. It's one, one of my co-workers, uh, Jen, made for me a couple of Christmases ago. Her and her, her husband have a little side business where they, you know, do things like this, and they uh, do the graphics on t-shirts, and do boat shrink wrapping, and all kinds of sign, signs and things like that. So I really love this class. It's one of my favorites. So cheers, everyone. And... I'm going to show you what I'm drinking, but first I need a sip because, oh my gosh, this is so good. And I've had coffee all week long, so, yeah. Anyway, so anyway, I got some more wine from what's fastly becoming one of my favorite wineries. The Purple Toad Winery. Thank you, Barbara Jean, or Barbara Jean's sister-in-law. So I ordered some more wine, and this time I got 
strawberry jalapeno. And it's from the winery, the Purple Toad Winery in Paducah, Kentucky. And let me tell you, if you like, uh, like that hot pepper jelly, we used to uh, go up to a place up in Maine. Oh, it, it could have even been L.L. Bean, like the gift area. So it was Stonebridge or something like that. Um, hot pepper jelly. And we used to love to get that. And then have like crackers and cheese and put some uh, cream cheese on top. The whipped cream cheese and then a little dollop of the hot red pepper jelly. And it was so good. And that is what this is like. So you get the sweetness of the strawberry. And you get a little bit of zing from the jalapeno. I mean, it's a, it's a nice, nice flavor. It's not overpowering that you're going to be like, oh my God, I can't drink this. Give me water. It's just a really nice flavor. So I love it. So anyway, just got it today. And you're probably thinking, holy mackerel, Nancy drank a lot today. But no, not really. I opened it up at work because I have it delivered to work. So three of us drank most of this. Yeah. Yeah. So good. I am so glad that I got two bottles. And I left another one at work, so we will probably maybe have that tomorrow. But I also have a, left a honey mist there and um, a red muscadine. And both of those were just really good. So we will probably open one of those tomorrow uh, before we go home. Maybe somewhere between 3 and 4, we'll probably crack it open. Start celebrating the weekend and just celebrating having a job and working together. It's so much fun. But um, anyway, um, I'm probably going to close the uh, vlog short today. I didn't do one yesterday. Um, I think the day before, I went like over eight minutes. And I really felt bad because I really want to try to keep these around two minutes a day. And yeah, I can't do it. It's like, I don't have anything to say. But I go on and on. It's kind of like Seinfeld. It's like, you know, he always said his show was like the show about nothing. Mine's like the vlog about nothing. Yeah. But anyway i enjoy chatting with you all so much so i just want to thank everyone that stops in and visits and writing your comments below it just it just means the world to me so i want to thank my viewers my subscribers for stopping in and visiting and if you're new to my channel i'd appreciate it if you just kind of click on that red subscribe button and stop back and visit from time to time your comments of course I love your comments and everyone give this video a thumbs up it was really helping my channel grow and I appreciate that so much but um, so anyway I had an ipsy bag yesterday and I don't know what if this is going to get posted before that video or not but I was missing one item and I did reach out to customer service today and they were so so nice so they will be sending out my missing item and so I should probably see that in maybe another week, maybe a little longer than that, but that's okay. Um, tomorrow I have a stitch fix coming because, you know, we were like Ross and Rachel. We were on a break. Yeah. And so I'm excited to get that, and I've been good. I have not peaked, and it's, it's hard. It's hard not to peak, but I really want to go into it with an open mind and... Um, I just feel like if I if I open it up and I look at it, I'm just going to get kind of judgmental again. And maybe just I'm going to go into it with the wrong, wrong attitude. So I, I want to keep a nice open attitude and give them all the benefit of the doubt and just my honest opinions. And I've got a, the Sensi Whip Box for October coming this weekend. So I'm hoping to um, get that done in a more timely fashion because I just did my september with box and that way too if it's something that you like that's in that with box um you know it's something you can still order because it would still be available when i i don't get to do it to the next month that with box is come and gone and you know you're not going to get it again so i'm looking forward to that and i never know what's going to be in there so it's always a surprise and i know i try to, to describe the sense as best i can and sometimes I'm, i do okay and sometimes i am so wrong that it really scares me but it's, and again, I think scents and fragrances are really, um, they're kind of personal and you may smell something from it that somebody else doesn't and, or, you know, you may have, um, I know they talk about high, mid and low scents, it means nothing to me, but I think maybe some people smell the different levels first. So they may smell what some people say is the low base and somebody else might just smell the high base. So, um, so again, it's just, it's just, uh. It's a fun thing that I love to do. I love getting the whiff box and, um, you know, it's not like one of those boxes, like I said, that you, you know, spend $40 and you get $500 value. So, but you get, 
say if the box costs thirty dollars you get between thirty and forty dollars worth of product and for me it's it's just fun it's a surprise of getting some new items and uh getting some old favorites and of course supporting uh, my daughter Raina's small business just uh, helping her out um, how I can do that with just buying some products from her from time to time and um, yeah, so I think that that's about it so um, yeah I want to just thank everyone um, your support means the world to me and I really love um, you know I didn't really think I was gonna like doing these vlogs but I really enjoy chatting with everyone and just talking a little bit here and there and maybe just uh, sharing what, what I've got coming in for boxes or what I had for boxes and didn't post yet. Yeah, like I've got that confetti box. I I taped it, but I didn't put it together yet. Um, I just uh, did my boodles, noodles. I, I even forgot the name of it. That's how long ago I taped it, but I just got that uploaded tonight before I did this and um yeah so anyway we will chat again next week i'll start again on saturday with a vlog hopefully i'll be able to do it right in the front foyer again um during the day i get so much light that comes in that front that it's just really nice to sit there in front of the daylight without the uh, artificial lights because the artificial lights they make me blink like a blinking maniac yeah but um if i if i can do it without the ring light that would that's really nice so I hope everyone enjoys this vlog. I'd love to hear your comments, and I hope that everyone goes out, has a fantastic weekend. We'll chat again later, everybody. Bye-bye. Thanks again for joining me. I can never find the button.